Well, it finally happened. I'm broken. Uh, as anyone who watches my channel consistently can probably tell, I'm um, not having an amazing time right now. Uh, and it, it's not on any of you or anything. I, I love my I love my audience, um, and I would love nothing more than to do this channel full time. And beyond that, I have a bunch of amazing patrons who support me, and it's all very overwhelming in a legitimately good way. Um, but there's also parts of my life that are that are overwhelming in a less good way. <clears throat> so this is going to be. Uh, kind of a personal video, and I, I apologize if that's not what you want uh, right now. Um, it's, it's fucking almost Christmas and I'm pulling this shit. Uh, I, I know we're all going through a lot, but everything on my end has just, it's its built up in such a way um, that I have to lay it all out. Uh, I, I just, I have, I have a lot going on. I'm about to start production on a new movie. I've got the Patreon to take care of. I've got this channel. Uh, my work on Screen Rant, which is a majority of my time, and I've got a family, uh, plus other work, shooting and editing side jobs, so I can do that whole, you know, pay bills and have food thing. Um, and and believe it or not, despite some of the jokes at my expense, I, I am not making that Screen Rant money that supposedly exists. I am still perpetually broke, and it, it's only partially thanks to my aggressively large uh, movie collection. I'm, I which I'm scaling back on considerably, by the way. Like, I'm not really spending a whole lot anymore. Um, now, uh, while trying to juggle all of this, I have found myself gaining patrons and subscribers, but I've also lost patrons who, frankly, I, I, I considered very important. Uh, they were and are amazing people, and I love having them around, but now they're they're gone. They left the Patreon and therefore the Discord. And, and I know that's that's bound to have a, a domino effect. And while I could be the eternal optimist and point to all the new patrons who I do legitimately appreciate, I am also capable of seeing the writing on the wall. Um, and that's the something has to change. I, I can't keep promising things, letting life get in the way, and then promptly breaking those promises. It's just it's just happening too much, and justifiably people are ditching both the channel and the Patreon. And I can't blame them. It's fucked. Um, out of all the issues I'm contending with, the big ones are family, screen rant, and the movie. Um, the movie is just, well, you know, it's, it's a fucking movie. That was... It was bound to be a time sink, but of course the beauty of it is that it generates content in the form of behind the scenes videos, so it kind of, you know, it feeds back into the thing I'm being pulled from. Uh, Screen Rant's a bit of a weird, bigger issue. Obviously it does technically mean uh, I'm creating content that people might enjoy, but if we're being honest, my content and Screen Rant's content are very different, and therefore it doesn't really... It doesn't really count for my subscribers or my patrons. At the same time, it's my only real consistent, meaningful income. I need it, at least until the Patreon gets bigger, which is, you know, kind of a catch-22. I need time to make content, but I'm too busy making content for someone else to have the time to make the content. Uh, but the big one, the thing that is really stopping me, um, and the one thing that I really need to get a handle on, uh, is my wife and son. See... <sighs> My wife and I, we don't have family out here. And of course, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so our options are already pretty shitty. And add to that, she's diagnosed bipolar, so anything that's normally bad is magnified significantly in our household. So, like, both of us being crazy is just, it's too much fucking crazy. Kiddo isn't weaned, uh, and he's reliant on her for just about everything, including sleep. Uh, this inevitably leads to next to no sleep on her part and vis-a-vis -vis a whole lot of emotions. Um, and I'll, I'll just let you fill in the blanks on that one, but suffice it to say my home life is not great at the moment, and it's not fair to either of them. And this is all the more frustrating because I was doing so well for so long, but between kiddo and, uh, you know, him getting older, my job, changing in ways I really can't talk about and the general pressures of having so much going on. I'm, I'm just falling apart. Um, and I know that's obvious to a lot of people watching this stuff. Um, 
which which makes it worse just to think about. Uh, and it all all of this came to a head in November. I had done eight videos for work in the first half of the month with the intention of using the back half to get caught up on this channel. Then I wound up with two massive ulcers right around like where my tonsils used to be, and I could not eat or talk properly until early December, which you saw some of that in the uh, Black Friday video, the uh, live stream. Uh, now that lull seems to have been the last straw, um, as I saw a huge exodus in patrons, and it was it was I mean it was heartbreaking, frankly. Uh, and it's it's such a fucking first world problem, but. You know, it just it, it sent me spiraling, and I haven't really stopped spiraling. Things have just gotten worse and worse, and I've been angry and depressed. I, I, I punched a wall at one point and hurt my wrist. Like, that's not okay. So, so after talking to various friends and my wife, I decided, you know, we need a fucking reset here. So, uh, the next two months, uh, January and February, I'm not going to be pushing hard on this channel at all. Um, I am going to try and finish up some edits that are already shot and just need finishing up, including three fucking podcasts that I've not edited fully from months ago. And I feel like a fucking piece of shit because I have guests who I had on and their episodes have not shown up yet. And I feel like such a fucking dick. But anyway, um, uh, beyond that, I will do my level best to live stream when I can, since that's not too time intensive. Uh, you know, if I have time and I want to just hang out, I'll be like watch parties with patrons, uh, and I will continue the Jean Roland series I've started for $7 patrons to the best of my ability, um, which is a cool series and it just doesn't take me much time to do, but at the same time, I'm not going to like, I'm not promising anything. Like it could be that is don't do any of them past like this week's episode, honestly, but I'm going to try because, because that's, you know, that's what's fucking me over in the first place. The just over promising things. The only promise is that I will try to put out a few things here and there if they fit in, but otherwise this is effectively a two month hiatus. Uh, during those two months, my only like definite work focuses are going to be my movie and screen rant. That doesn't, that does mean technically I will have content coming out, uh, cause I'll be vlogging on my Patreon about the movie in order to keep a record of everything, but I'm not going, but, but I'm going to do as little editing as humanly possible for those two months outside of Screen Rant. Now, some of you might be saying, well, Michael, that, that basically just sounds like what you've been doing the past several months, to which I'd say, you know, fair enough. Uh, the big difference, though, is that I won't be stressing out behind the scenes because trust me, well, I mean, I guess we'll be stressing out because we're making a movie, but I won't be stressing out with this channel because, um, like, because... This is, trust there's a lot of stress that never bears fruit for this channel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes just nothing ever comes of it and it's really frustrating and a lot of it comes down to like these same issues uh getting rid of that for two months that all that stress uh plus getting kiddo weaned and sleeping better and getting a movie at least partially finished i don't need it I, there's only like a certain amount we need done in that period of time so that's that's good um but that all should be enough of a reset for me. Um, if all goes according to plan, then at some point in the first half of the year, I will be back to my old numbers as far as like the, my video production. Um, you know, back to what made people subscribe and pledge to the Patreon in the first place. Um, I'm also just, this is a side note, but I'm also just really fat. Like, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack at like 33 years old if I don't do something so uh yeah i i need as much offline time as i can possibly get um yeah anyway thanks for sticking around to the end of this video uh i never thought i'd actually make a serious burnout video but here we are i guess this makes me a real youtuber right uh fuck. go watch a movie